My husband and I packed our bags and moved to a new city that was completely unfamiliar to us. We made a lot of mistakes along the way. <laughs> we even ended up purchasing a house in the wrong area of town that really didn't fit our lifestyle. Relocating is a process that's filled with a lot of unknowns and uncertainties. And since you're watching this video, you're probably in the same place that we were five years ago. You are looking for answers. You might even be wondering if Kaiser, Oregon is a good place to live. And while I can't answer that question for you, I can share the pros and cons of living in Kaiser, Oregon. If you are contemplating moving to Kaiser, Oregon, this video is going to be a perfect introduction to what you can expect so that you can make a well-informed decision about Kaiser and figure out if it's even the right place for you to relocate to. We are going to be going over the pros and cons of living in Kaiser, Oregon, but I am going to be saving my personal opinions about Kaiser for the end of this video. So stick around until the end to catch that. Kaiser, Oregon is a separate city city that is just north of Salem. But oftentimes when people are talking about Salem and Kaiser, they don't really make the clarification that Kaiser is actually a separate city from Salem. And I'm even guilty of doing that in some of my own videos. <laughs> now, if you live in Salem, it's really common to interchangeably talk about Salem and Kaiser and kind of just lumping them into one general living space. But they are two very distinct and separate cities. But because of the way that Kaiser is positioned and its smaller size, it kind of feels like Kaiser is more of a residential suburb of Salem, Oregon than a completely separate city. Let's pull up a map and check out where the heck Kaiser, Oregon is located. As you can see here on this handy dandy map, Salem and Kaiser are very, very close together and they are very intertwined. They're close geographically, they're close in terms of vibe, and they're both overall great options for you if you're considering relocating to Salem. Okay, so we've established where the heck Kaiser is. Let's talk about the first pro on our list. The first pro is typically the main reason why people decide to move to Kaiser rather than Salem, Oregon, and that's because Kaiser is slightly more affordable and the cost of living is slightly lower than the cost of living in Salem. The two main reasons why the cost of living in Kaiser is slightly more economically feasible than a place like Salem comes down to the property taxes and the cost of real estate. Property taxes in Kaiser tend to be slightly lower than the city of Salem. Now, this is a huge generalization and property taxes all come down to the specific house, but generally speaking, you can expect your property taxes to just be a skosh lower in Kaiser. The other main factor here for affordability comes down to the cost of real estate when you actually purchase a house in Kaiser. Generally speaking, the home prices are slightly lower in Kaiser than they are in Salem. And again, generally speaking, you can find houses that are very similar to the ones that you would find in Salem in terms of size and quality, but they are just, again, going to be a skosh cheaper in Kaiser. This means that your taxes in tandem with your purchase price of your future home will overall make it just a little bit more economically feasible to move into the city of Kaiser rather than purchasing a home and moving into that into the city of Salem. Now I do have to tell you that yes it's going to be cheaper to move into Kaiser than it is into Salem but the cost of living and the cost of real estate I'm saying that it's cheap but it's all relative to where you are coming from. When we compare Kaiser's overall cost of living and real estate to other main areas in you know, the West Coast, it is more affordable. But the West Coast in general, it's expensive. So for some perspective to highlight this uh, point, <laughs> at the time that this video was filmed, the median sales price for a single family detached home in Salem was at $420,000. For Kaiser, that number was at $414,000. So that's only a difference of $6,000 in regards to the purchase price of real estate. But that in tandem with a lower property tax can sometimes make a small impact on, you know, the affordability of Kaiser versus Salem. For a majority of my clients who want really easy access to Portland for work or for maybe the Portland International Airport, they do tend to focus their search on Kaiser because while Kaiser is just slightly cheaper than Salem, 
it is significantly cheaper than Portland. Kaiser acts as a really nice buffer ground for people who potentially want really easy access to Portland, but they want more affordable housing, but they also don't want to sacrifice and live out in bum fudge in nowhere. So if you live in Kaiser, you're still going to have really easy access to not just Portland, which is 45 minutes north, but you're also going to be so dang conveniently located and close to Salem, which is going to be about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on where you're, you know, how far north in Kaiser you're located. All of this leads me to my next point, which is the fact that Kaiser is conveniently located to just get anywhere in the Willamette Valley. We just touched on the fact that Kaiser is close to Salem's downtown and is about 45 minutes south of Portland. But Kaiser is also a really great jumping off point if you're interested in exploring the Willamette Valley, which is the whole entire valley, pretty much the I-5 corridor. It's also great if you want to take day trips to the coast or out to Eastern Oregon. You can definitely just hop on the Wheatland Ferry, which is terrifying and fun all at the same time. And you can quickly find yourself in Oregon's wine country. If you want to go 45 minutes north, you can find yourself in McMinnville, which is known for its wine and its rich hippie vibes, <laughs> my kind of people. So overall, Kaiser offers you access to big cities like Portland and small little cities like Salem. And then you also are at the front door of Oregon's countryside. Because of Kaiser's ideal location and the fact that it's just north of Salem, when you do need to hop on Interstate 5 and you're wanting to go north, typically you're not going to have to suffer through any of the traffic or con congestion that is afflicting the rest of Salem. This in itself makes Kaiser very appealing if you are needing to travel north on the I-5 corridor to get into Portland, Vancouver, Seattle with a lot of frequency. If you're finding value in this video, give it a dang toot and thumbs up and go down to the comments and tell me why you are considering relocating to Kaiser rather than Salem. One of my favorite pros to Kaiser is the fact that you can live lakeside in Kaiser. Now given. This is a man-made lake, okay? It's not a nature-made lake, but it's great nonetheless. This small community is called Inland Shores, which is located just south of McNary Estates, which you might be familiar with, but McNary Estates is a golf course community in Kaiser that's a little bit more upper scale. Um, but if you wanna live lakeside, check out Inland Shores. And I do have a full neighborhood walking video uh, tour of Inland Shores, which I have linked in the description of this video, which you should check out next. Don't go there right now. Watch it after this video. So we have established that the price of real estate, generally speaking, is more economically feasible in Kaiser than it is in a place like Salem and definitely Portland. But one other huge highlight of Kaiser is, generally speaking, you're gonna find that more of the homes have slightly larger lots and the houses are not going to be as close together as some other places that you might find in Salem. So this means if your main focus in your next home purchase is to have a little bit of space between you and your neighbors, Kaiser might be a really great spot for you to check out. The lots in Kaiser are also gonna be typically a little bit more flat than a lot of the other areas of Salem. For example, West Salem hills south salem lots of hills and if you're like me and you just absolutely hate the idea of living on a hill it just terrifies you to no end whew, you are going to be so relieved to know that kaiser is pretty darn tame and does not have aggressive hills for the most part the next pro on our list is kaiser rapids park the Kaiser Rapids Park is right along the Willamette River, and as you can see here on the map, it is pretty darn big. It's actually almost five acres to be exact. There's an off-leash dog area. There is an emu who lives next to that off-leash dog area. And by the way, if you go to my community tab on my YouTube page, you'll be able to see photos of me and Mr. Emu. Okay, now beyond, you know, dog park area and emu, <laughs> it's also a really great park for walking trails. There's a mini amphitheater. And generally speaking, it's just a great park to bring your dog to or your favorite human to. To me, this park feels like a similar but different version to downtown Salem's waterfront park because in the summertime you are going to find that they have outdoor concerts there at the amphitheater and people are putting their kayaks into the river from the little dock that they have in that park which personally 
no i would not advise doing that because the willamette river is a very deceptively fast flowing river and people are unalived in that river every single year so if kayaking is your jam proceed with caution friends but overall i do think that this park is a huge benefit to the city of kaiser and if you're considering kaiser as you know your future home where you're gonna buy real estate definitely go check out this park the next pro on our list is that if you live in kaiser you are gonna have quick and easy access to things like kaiser station which is home to the best target in town in and out burger lowe's for all of my diy babes and then you can go to Ulta Beauty to get your makeup at uh, Chipotle. And just generally speaking, there's like a whole bunch of other strip mall shops and stuff. Kaiser Station, fun fact, also has a baseball stadium, which I personally have never had the pleasure of going to a baseball game at. But I do know that recently they have returfed the stadium. So I don't know, enough people must be going for them to be able to afford that, I guess. Ugh, I don't know. If you're a huge fan of Target stores, you're going to be delighted to know that Kaiser Station, it has the best Target in all of Salem. And generally speaking, Kaiser Station is a hub for not just the people of Kaiser, but it's really a great shopping place for people who live in Salem or Silverton or Dallas or Independence or Woodburn or beyond. It is just a great focal point for real retail shopping for the greater Salem area. The other kind of shopping that you're gonna find in Kaiser is really gonna be focused on River Road. So let's pull up a map and check out where exactly River Road is. This is an incredibly important road for you if you're gonna be considering you know the idea of moving into Kaiser here is River Road and it runs north to south and it's gonna connect you from the tippy top of Kaiser and get you all the way down into downtown Salem all along River Road you're gonna find things like gas stations gross grocery stores fast food restaurants slow restaurants boutiques and office buildings and just everything in between River Road is a significant thoroughfare and one that you are gonna be driving on a whole heck of a lot if you move into Kaiser. So we've talked about the benefits of living in Kaiser. So let's talk about some of the reasons why Kaiser might not actually be the right place for you. The first con is that if you are looking for a character home or a historic home, that is gonna be much harder to find in Kaiser. Most homes, generally speaking, that are historic and filled with character, those are gonna be located closer to downtown Salem or a place like Silverton. So if your main focus in your home search is looking for a character or older home, Kaiser is likely not gonna be the place for you. Most of the homes in Kaiser are going to be a little bit more cookie cutter. Now there is nothing wrong with cookie cutter homes. It simply means that all of the homes tend to look much more similar. Kaiser is not as old as Salem is and it really didn't begin you know, booming as a city until after the 1950s when proper dams were put in place along the Willamette River. So it stopped the flooding out that Kaiser used to experience. <laughs> that leads me to my next con, which is the fact that some parts of Kaiser are going to require flood insurance. This is very specific to where you are purchasing a home in Kaiser. What we are looking at right now is the FEMA flood map for Kaiser, Oregon. I've linked this map in the description of this video so that you can check it out totally on your own and kind of putts around. But the area in blue and this kind of stripy area, those are areas that are gonna require flood insurance. As you can see here, there's a lot of orange covering this map. Most oftentimes, you're not gonna be required to have flood insurance in these orange parts. But this is a conversation that you need to have with your lender and your home insurer. So always, always, always verify with your home insurance, provider and your lender if ever you want a better understanding if a certain house you're interested in is in a floodplain or not you can go directly to the fema website which again i've provided a link in the description of this video and you can just type in the address of that house and it's going to tell you if it's in a flood zone or not i cannot stress this next point enough do not rely on real estate websites that rhyme with pillow or rainbow fin to give you accurate information about flood zones. Always go directly to the FEMA website or ask me for help. Those third-party websites, they don't always have accurate information. We are talking about houses. We're talking about water. So let's talk about the hard water situation in Kaiser. If you're not familiar with hard water, let me introduce you to the idea of water 
that has a whole heck of a lot of mineral deposits in it. How this can affect you, my internet friend, is when you are showering. Your hair might become a little bit wonky and brittle and your shower might look a little bit funky too with hard water remnants. Because the water in Kaiser has more mineral deposits than other neighborhoods around Salem, you are gonna notice a difference in the texture of your hair. Ladies, I am speaking directly to you. But here's the thing, there is a super simple solution for your shower to save those precious locks. All you need to do is get a filter attachment for your shower head. Easy peasy. Beyond the hard water affecting your hair and leaving traces of minerals in your shower, I personally am not aware of any adverse effects of hard water. But I am no waterologist. I'm a real estate agent, guys. That is not my expertise. So get your little tookie on to Dr. Google and do some research of your own. The next con on our list is that Kaiser does not have its own downtown. So you're gonna be dependent on driving into Salem, which again is gonna be about 20 to 30 minutes depending on how how far north in Kaiser you actually end up living. And River Road is not only gonna connect you to downtown Salem, <laughs> but River Road also acts as like the equivalent of Kaiser's downtown because you have all these grocery stores and just general shopping that is right alongside River Road. So we've talked about the pros and cons of living in Kaiser. Now, as promised, I am gonna give you my hot take on the city of Kaiser. The city of Kaiser from my opinion, is best suited for people who want easy access north or to Interstate 5. Kaiser does not have its own downtown area, so it's not gonna be like you're living in a city. You are gonna be in a residential neighborhood of Salem. That's really what it comes down to. Now, that's not gonna be the right fit for everyone. So if you are not wanting easy or not needing easy access to Portland or I-5, and you do not want that residential kind of cookie cutter neighborhood vibe, Kaiser might not be the right place for you. And that's okay because there are a lot of alternative great options that you could consider. But overall, I feel like Kaiser is a root toot toot cute place to live. It just depends on what you're really looking for in your ideal neighborhood. If you wanna have a further conversation about whether Kaiser might be a good fit for you, hop on that one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. You can schedule it by clicking in the description of this video. You're gonna see a little book your one-on-one -on -one consultation with me and we can chat all about it. If you enjoyed this video, you are gonna to wanna to watch this one next. Bye friends.